Good evening and thank you for joining us on Morocco Marca Watch, your weekly broadcast for economic and financial updates on Bourse News Network. I am Ashraf, your host, as usual, here to bring you the latest developments in both local and international markets for the week ending April 5th. In our news today, the Casablanca Stock Exchange finished the week on a slightly positive note with the Mazi index gaining 84 basis points to close at 13,118 points. The Mazi 20 increased by 63 basis points to reach 1,065 points. Similarly, the Mazi ESG spiked by 33 basis points to hold 959 points, with a total trading volume of the week at 1 billion. 190,840,961 dirhams. This week's trading session top gainer was Residences Dar Saada, which saw a remarkable surge of 36.33% to settle at 45 dirhams. On the other hand, Auto Najma emerged as the top loser, experiencing a 5.86% decline to reach 2,039 dirhams. Let's now take a look at where the international markets closed. The Dow Jones dropped by 2.27% to close at 38,904 points. The S&P 500 shed 95 basis points to set at 5,204 points. And in a similar trend, the Nasdaq Composite declined by 0.80% to close at 16,248 points. The Moroccan transport company CTM has announced the acquisition of a majority stake of 51% in the shipping company Africa Morocco Link, previously owned by Bank of Africa. The transaction between entities owned by the same O Capital Group under its man Benjeloun will allow AML to leverage CTM's expertise in passenger and freight transport. This acquisition also marks the beginning of a new growth phase for CTM reinforcing its recent diversification strategy. AML, founded in June 2016 through a partnership between Bank of Africa and the Greek ship owner Arika Holding, is headquartered in Tangier and operates freight and passenger ferries between Tangier Med and Al Jazeera. Next in our highlights, Bank Al Maghreb's February monthly business survey indicates a positive shift in industrial activity compared to January. According to BAM's report, both production and the capacity utilization rate surged to 79%, while production saw a notable increase across major sectors. Sales experienced a decline attributed to reduced foreign shipments and simultaneous uptick in local market transactions. Sales increased in sectors like food production and textile and leather. Meanwhile, sales remained steady in the machinery and metal industry reflecting a stable market condition within the sector. Despite the overall positive trend in orders, there was a slight downturn observed in the chemical and parochemical sector, indicating a potential shift in demand dynamics. Despite this positive outlook, concerns linger among 28% of companies regarding future production, and 26% express uncertainty regarding future sales. And that was all I had for you today. Thank you again for watching Burst News Financial News coverage. I am Banani Ashraf. Stay connected and I'll see you next week.